Hey, this is Judgment Waits bringing you some more Black Ops 2 gameplay for you. In this video, I wanted to talk all about perk ones. Those are the blue perks. Those are flak jacket, ghost, blind eye, hardline, and lightweight. And I want to look at these from the perspective of a hardcore player. So let's get right into these perks. I want to tell you what they do. I'm going to give you some advice for using them, what I've noticed about them, and just give you my opinion overall on whether or not you should use these perks. But, you know, realize this is just my opinion. All right, let's start off with lightweight lightweight obviously lets you move faster All right so normally if you're running like an smg or a pistol or a shoddy you're going to be moving at your full 100 percent speed so with lightweight you add seven percent to your movement speed so you are moving at 107 percent if you're running something slower like an ar or a sniper rifle you're only moving at 95 percent of your base speed if you're running an lmg you're only moving at 90 percent of your base speed so when you add that seven percent keep that in mind now besides the normal movement speed bonuses this also helps you out with different types of movement like crawling and strafing so that's one of the things i do like about this perk is it does help you strafe faster i really like this more in core game modes than hardcore game modes now besides movement speed bonuses you also do not take damage from falling so i know a lot of times when i'm playing i will jump out of a window after i've been shot you know and damaged and when i jump out of that window i end up dead so if that happens to you a lot this might be a perk that you want to try out now the next perk i want to mention is blind eye blind eye prevents you from being targeted by ai controlled air support just air support so we're caulking hunter killer missiles stealth choppers escort drones and the swarm things like sentry gun that when they're controlled by the ai will still target you dogs of course are still going to target you so it's just ai controlled air support i normally run classes that do not have blind eye on the problem with that is a lot of my friends do have blind eye on so if the team that i'm playing against is using a lot of hunter killer missiles i'm going to be the targets for those so i do have a class that i switch to that does have on blind eye if i notice the team is using a lot of player controlled score streaks or say they were to call in a stealth chopper then i'm going to switch to my class that has blind eye and then i'm going to try and take out that stealth chopper so i wouldn't necessarily recommend using this perk but i would have it available on a class that i could switch to in case things come out that are targeting you the third perk i want to talk about is ghost Ghosts prevent you from being detected by enemy UAVs while you're moving, while you're planning, diffusing, capping, while you're doing things, you know, objective-wise, or while you're running score streaks. And I think they have all the bugs worked out as far as that's concerned. Now, some things to keep in mind with this perk. If you are not moving, of course, you're going to be showing up. Also, too, if you're aimed down sight and you're moving with something like an assault rifle, you are not going to be moving fast enough, and a lot of times you will still show up. If you're climbing up something and you stop and you don't have dexterity on, you're going to show up. If you fire an unsilenced or an unsuppressed weapon, you're going to show up. So this perk has a lot of limitations. You really need to pair it with a suppressor if you're going to use it, and you really need to be conscious about constantly moving. Because of these limitations, I really don't recommend you normally using this perk. It is nice, like Blind Eye, to have on a class that you can switch to, but for me, I like running a small as my secondary, and if somebody puts up a UAV, then I'll shoot it down. If I'm playing against a team, though, that is putting up a lot of UAVs, which happens sometimes, then I will switch to my Ghost Silent class. Let's move on to Flak Jacket. Flak Jacket obviously reduces the amount of damage you take from an explosive. In core game modes, you're only going to take about a third of the damage you normally would from an, some sort of explosive device. In hardcore, that is even lower. I cannot find the stat for that. In previous Call of Duties, the damage in hardcore was reduced by 85 to 90 percent. So I have a feeling it's probably somewhere around there. This Flak Jacket perk in Black Ops 2 doesn't feel like it's as a effective as previous flak jackets but i still think it's somewhere around there now keep in mind most score streaks will kill you regardless if you have on flak jacket or not i have i don't think i've ever survived from an rc car when i've had flak jacket on but it is possible depending on where you're at if you can dolphin dive away from one of those things or get far enough away flak jacket obviously will help you survive those things and that's the same with any kind of explosive if you get direct impacted though or if you get stuck forget it you're done you're just not going to survive but if you can get away from those items you know you do have a chance for living through that so i do use this occasionally on certain classes i really like this when i'm playing objective type game modes but normally this is just a perk that i do not use 
So if I don't use all them, what do I use? I recommend using Hardline. That is my favorite tier one perk to use. Now, what does Hardline do? Basically, you receive bonus points for everything that you do, pretty much everything that you do. So if you kill somebody, normally that's like 100 points. But with Hardline, you gain 20% to that. So instead of getting 100 points towards your score streaks, you get 120 points. Obviously, that's going to help you get to your score streaks faster, and hopefully those score streaks are actually going to kill people and help improve your kill-death ratio. Now, when doesn't this work? Well, it doesn't work with things like UAV and counter UAV. Normally, like when you have a UAV up, you get points every time your teammates kill somebody, but Hardline does not add to that. It also, I don't believe, adds to the VSAT. The place that you really see this bonus coming live is when you're playing objective type games. You know, sometimes if you cap a flag, it's worth 200 points. So that's 240 points with Hardline. So what's that do? Basically, with your lower tier score streaks, it's going to help you get there with one less kill. Or your middle tier score streaks, it's going to help you get to those with two less kills. And things like Swarm and stuff like that, it's going to take like three less kills to get to those. So obviously, the faster you're getting to the score streaks and the more that they're worth, you know, the more your KD is going to go up, the more kills that you're going to get during the game normally. But that's my take on the tier one perks. Remember, this is just my opinion, and this is because of my play style. You have a different play style for me, so you have to come to your own conclusions. But I hope this helps you in picking which perks you need to use and should use. I am planning on doing the tier two perks and the tier three perks, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you got any questions or comments, make sure you leave them for me. If this helps you out, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. But as always, guys, take care and God bless.